For those ancient philosophers who embrace scepticism, there was always the question of how it was possible to live with scepticism. How could you survive a day without believing most of what you saw? That the floor under your feet will hold you? That the bus headed towards you would kill you? Ancient skeptics distinguished appearances that were more like the truth than others and relied upon these to guide them in their actions without claiming to know or believe that those appearances were true. Augustine was quick to object to this, that it makes no sense to identify some propositions as more like the truth if you don't know what the truth is. I can't say that peaches are more like nectarines than apples if I don't know what nectarines are. Both Augustine and Descartes thought that self-knowledge was indubitable, that is beyond doubt. And this is because if I try to doubt that I think or that I exist, I refute myself. Since doubting is a kind of thinking, asserting I doubt that I'm thinking is like saying I do not think that I'm thinking, which is self-contradictory. Both Augustine and Descartes also thought that it was entailed by the indubitability of the statement, I think, that something, the thinker, exists as the subject of that thought. Once I have the concept of truth, only then can I go on to make assessments about other things that are like the truth. As arguments go, the cogito argument has some peculiar features. Consider this form of the argument. Premise one, I think. Conclusion, therefore I am. One problem with this argument as it stands is that it looks like it's question begging. How could I know the premise to be true without assuming that the conclusion is true. Another problem is that there seems to be a missing general premise. Premise two, anything that thinks exists. But since this is a general claim, how would I know this without first knowing in my own case that I think and I exist? And notice Descartes explicitly denies relying on this assumption himself. Finally, as David Hume objected, is it so obvious that I think is true? Am I really aware of a thinking subject, me, or is there just awareness of particular experiences or thoughts going on? If all I am titled to is the claim, premise one star, thinking is going on, then no conclusions can be inferred about whether anyone exists to do the thinking. What Descartes seems to have had in mind is that thinking provides us with some kind of direct access to ourselves. So the cogito argument is perhaps not so much an argument as a direct intuition of oneself. This direct intuition, he thought, had consequences for deciding what kind of thing the self is.